Oh, Kenya wangu ina wanavu na wanombo tsavu. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Mambo zenyu muko kwa top ya graph yangu so na wapenda muko hapa muko kwa roho yangu. So people tend to think like Kenya is not abroad. What is abroad? <laughs> to me Kenya is abroad. Have you seen those structures? Have you seen What's up everybody? It's your girl Rachel Show and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guys, oh, 2023, how, how is it treating you so far? How are you doing? Uh, these days I'm sitting down and doing a lot of uh, talking just because that's the way right now I can do the content that I have to do. But when it's time to walk around, you will see me. Some <laughs> the time subscribers were laughing at me that I had worked a lot, that I was doing content, working a lot, and they were like, hey, Rachel, you have worked, the same you sit down. <laughs> so yeah, I'm here seated and I'm going to tell you a story time. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So, the day, uh, people, people out here, when somebody says abroad, what comes into your mind? To me, if you say abroad, it's outside of this country, right? It can be Rwanda, it can be Kenya, it can be Tanzania, it can, that's abroad, that's abroad, right? To me, that's outside the country, that's abroad. Abroad. <laughs> somebody think we be. Oh, we shall Google, somebody Google and give me the description of, um, the definition of abroad. Because to me, abroad, outside of a country, outside of my own country where I am. If I'm in Uganda, outside my outside country is another country outside my country. So, so, but people tend to think outside the country is like, uh, I'm speaking on, on, not on behalf, like majority of uh, Ugandans. What do you think of outside country? Outside country is like, uh, Europe, America, Canada, um, Asia, that's what people think. I think I've covered the whole entire continent, you know, all the whole entire world, sorry. So South America and all those countries, you know. So they don't really look at Uganda, Tanzania, I mean, they don't look at Kenya. Oh, Kenya wangu, ina wanavu, na wanombo tavu. How are you guys doing? Mambo zenyu, muko kwa top ya graph yangu, so, na wapenda muko wapa, muko kwa roho yangu. So, people tend to think like, Kenya is not abroad. What is abroad? Okay, what's, that? what's outside the country, outside countries? Outside your own country? Um, I'm also, now I'm not sure, until I Google this. But anyway, so... When you speak of outside countries, that's what people think about. And when you go abroad, mostly it's about uh, either making money, going for greener pastures, or doing what? Or visiting. Some people have money to go and visit out there. But it, I, I believe in flourishing in my own country and living life in my own country. Uh, but I don't mind coming to Kenya. Kenya is home. Let's just not talk about that. So when I'm talking about home, I mean Kenya, Uganda. Oh, <laughs> so the it's like a small small story why people think that Kenya is not abroad. <laughs> to me, Kenya is abroad. Have you seen those structures? Have you seen how people live? Eh? Do you know about their currency? Anyway, to me, Kenya is abroad. Because it's outside my own country, right? 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 But people have this mentality of unless you're going into those developed first world countries, then that's abroad. Anywho, so here I am. I'm, uh, I'm going to, to film, to film uh, a video. I'll put that video down below. I was going to Mandela Stadium to film. And this guy, and I meet this guy, a security guard. So he asks me, 
I'm filming and then he's approaching. So I may pretend like I'm taking pictures from both angles, but actually I'm filming. So of course, if you're filming in, in, in Uganda, most of the times people look at you like, what's up, what's going on? Who are you filming? You're not in TV, you're not in BS, you're not Wukede, you're not sold TV. What are you doing? You don't have anything to identify you as media. What are you doing? But you're free to film in Uganda. Only that some places they don't want you to film. So you have, just have to be careful when you're filming. You just have to be smart. But it's not like there's a restriction. Even people are not aware that some majority of people are not aware of YouTube. It's very few people that know about YouTube, know that YouTube pays. Ugandans, we still have a very long way to go when it comes to social media. Even doing business online is still like a little bit backwards. Yeah, and then when it comes to to YouTube, people are looking at you like, you must be crazy. Just holding the camera and talking to it. What's up? But people, um, slowly, slowly, we give them like three years, they will be able to understand what YouTube is and they will embrace it really, really well because they will be seeing our fruits. Our fruits, okay? Yeah. So here I am, I'm filming at Mandela Stadium and then this guy approach, approaches me. I was like, hi. I'm like, hi, how are you? And then he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, you know, I've not, because I'm trying to not show that I've been in the country. Such that he may know, he might know that I'm filming or I'm taking pictures because I'm excited to see what's going on here. So I'm like, I've not been around for quite some time, so I'm trying to just capture a few pictures here and there, such that because such that, I'm excited to see the development. He's like, ah, oh, that's nice. He's a security guard at Mandela Stadium. So he's like, uh, so where have you been? I'm, I'm like, uh, I've been, I've been in Kenya for some time, so that's why I care. That's why I'm saying that I've not been around. He's like, Kenya is not abroad. <laughs> well, Kenya, when you get out of the row, eh? they need to put some respect on your name. Mm? You guys are quite developed. You blow me away. First of all, your transportation system, your kind of... Uh, infrastructure is on another level when i compare it to this person who has been in a power for quite a long time and you know it's like if we've been in a relationship for long you need to know the corners of of like you need to know me like you need to know what triggers me you need to know how i react to what you need to know you know you need to know abcd you know until z actually but here we are. We are not even halfway, you guys. We are trying. <laughs> so this day is like Kenya is not abroad. So in my head, I'm like, so this guy is gonna ask me some other questions or stop me from filming just because he thought um, I'm from Kenya. Like I've lived in Kenya for long. So. Uh, I know you, many people, many of you don't know, but I've been out of Uganda since uh, like uh, 2013. That's when I flew out of Uganda. So, but I don't really talk about it. If I don't normally talk about it, but of course I'm gonna give you a story time about that. My first time leaving the country. Oh, oh guys, stay tuned for that story. So this guy is like, Kenya is not, Kenya is not abroad. So I'm like, uh, no, I, I just told you Kenya because I didn't want to talk about where I've been and what I do and all these things. So, but I've been to America, I've been to Europe, I've been to Asia. So yeah, he's like, then now he starts to smile as in, do you have to do that? But anyway, people's mind are not like that and there's nothing we can do about it. People tend to treat you a certain kind of way depending on how you, what they find out about you. You get. 
so the guy's like ah okay that's very nice yes it's very we've changed as you can see there is this there's that we have a long way to go like can you treat people like people not because they come from a certain country or they've traveled from wherever but that's how the world is and i've come to grow to understand that that's how the world is and we have nothing to do people will treat you nicely because you're working abroad and once you work you you've been with them they don't really treat you like somebody who just flew in it's like you're breathing a different kind of fresh air or you have a different kind of oxygen or whatever that's how the world is and we just have to accept it so yeah that's how that guy accepted i mean that's how that guy responded when i told him that i'm traveled what if i wasn't traveled and how do you know that i'm traveled have you checked my passport have you or you're just accepting just because i've told you let's be nice to people and not treat them according to how where the what their story is or where they're coming from be kind to somebody someone and be nice to somebody today okay so guys that was my little story time until next time i'm gonna give you different kinds of stories i'll start from the time i i flew out of this country and then that will lead me to the greatest story i want to tell you about okay so stay tuned something big is about to be communicated to you and it's gonna be a very good and lovely story that you will be able to enjoy okay until next time tell me what abroad is in the comment section below and uh if you travel a lot of the country how you've been treated whenever you return hmm? that means if i told somebody's not traveled you're treated like a normal person and if somebody's traveled hello what's up you're gonna be treated like a queen okay <laughs> but anyway guys until next time